Hello and welcome to today's simple lighting tutorial. So today I'm covering lighting which covers blend modes and surfaces. Okay, that's out of the way. Um, so all I really need is, as you can see, I've just created a light mask, apparently double under hyphen, um, light mask, which as you can see is just opacity to white. Okay, did that in paint.net. Easy enough to do, free program don't need to spend big money. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a lamp. Lamp, if I can spell. And I'm just going to make that 32 by 32 and I'm just going to make it a circle -y shape within a poorly drawn circle. with another circle. I'm just going to color that black. I'm just going to make some connection pieces. I don't really care how dodgy this looks, it's just to give you guys a demonstration. So, you guys will most likely be asking, but we want one with shadowing. Shadowing requires vertices calculations and they can be a right royal pain in the ass. Um, it's to do with light ray tracing, a whole slew of things that is a complete pain in the rear to get into. Um, basically the idea is, is you draw points on an object and then from there you draw out where you want your shadow to go. So it is calculatable in Game Maker, it's just a pain in the ass. Okay, and as you can see I've centered both points. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object called lamp. And that's all we really need because I'm going to show you the way I do it also calls for the internal function of the lamp, which can be quite powerful because you just use um, generic scripting and just call it light mask. And you can keep calling it as many times as you want. Um, light ing engine. If I spelt that all right. So, I had to write notes for this one as well, because it's been a while. But with generating a lighting system in Game Maker, first thing we need to do is create a surface, or more accurately, create a variable to hold that information for the surface. And I just call this, I'm pretty sure I called it surface equals I'm going to need this to be bigger uh, command was surface there we go that's what we want create and we want to create a surface that is the rooms width and the rooms height oh missing an eye and that is zero. Um, the only other thing you should do is you set depth. Oh, I cannot spell today, can I? My uh, equals minus a number you're not going to use, so minus 10,000. Okay, that is the complexity of that part. Next step is we do a draw event. In this draw event, this is where it gets not painful, but we need to be wary of what we're doing. So first things first is I need to set the draw target which is that function there which is surface draw or set target. I'm just gonna copy that because I'll be using that a few times. Oh, no, don't want to do that. So I'm now gonna call the surface I've just created. Next step is I need to draw set clear the color black from my surface and next step is I need to take that but I'm now gonna is it draw set? no whoops sorry I'm wrong it's clear whoopsie this is why I took notes um, draw clear black and then I also want to go draw clear alpha color black 
and I'm going to set that to 1, which will set it to not see-through. Okay, so the next part is playing with blend modes, but we're going to quickly skip that because the next step is making a failsafe for the screen. And what I'm talking about here, and I think it will do it if I run it. So what I'm going to do is create a room. Uh, lamp's not important, it's just the draw surface. From what I remember, the reason for this next bit of script, because it was a few... There we go. Must use surface reset target. Yep. Okay, that would be why. So as you can see, you need to be a bit wary of when utilizing surfaces, because you can get errors. So we need to reset the target. Now if I run it, it will run. But the other important thing that should happen, and that's why I need this other section of code, is the whole thing should completely shite itself when I open up the window, as you can see. That is because the surface that's drawn is no longer active and there's no reset function on that particular action. So when you minimize it, you remove the surface. So we need to look for and make sure the surface is recreated if you minimize, because let's face it, someone is going to minimize your game if you're running it. And you need to make sure to account for that possibility. Now I'm being completely retarded. I can't see the word I'm looking for. That's what I want. Uh, draw surface, yeah. Done. So that's going to do a check, and then we're just going to do else. So if it exists, it's going to apply the surface, and if it doesn't, I need to grab this piece of script here, so it creates the new surface. So this next little step should look at, does surface exist? If so, draw surface. Draw surface extra. So we're now going to draw the surface, it's going to be drawn from 0 to 0, scale of 1 to 1, rotation of 0, color, and I'm pretty sure I can do this. I did write white, but we'll see what this does, it's all about having a bit of fun with it. And then opacity, so 1. Okay, so with that... No, actually, what I'll do, I should most likely make that a bit bigger. So with this, we should now have a stable way of drawing surfaces. Should. Or, I can't use image blend. Or I might be able to. Hang on. If I'm drawing and setting the background to black, makes sense. Should be black. If it's still black, yep. So image blend looks like you can use as well. Okay, now we get into the actual lighting. So the way Game Maker handles this is a pain in the ass. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The way we do it is draw blend. Is it no? Sorry, set. That's what I always forget about this mode. Ah, play ball blend mode. And I'm just going to use the simple one. I did create a function so I could actually look at every single blend mode in Game Maker. And that took me a few hours to script up. Oh no, it's not that, is it? It's BM. And I'm pretty sure I want to use a subtract. And then the important thing with a blend mode is it will keep blending until you return it to normal. So we need to return it back to normal. Okay, so we now have this and you're saying, Joseph, okay, what's the point of this? We don't haven't done anything to the lamp yet. So in Game Maker, I only recently understood how this worked, but it, when you use a with, and I want to see, I need to find out a way to convert text into an array, uh, into an object index so I can do this in an array system with a for loop to make things even easier. But, what we can do is object lamp. And what this will do is it's smart enough that we are now 
operating inside object lamp in this bit of script here. So we can, if we've got variables in lamp, we can call them to this point here and we can access them. So normally what you have to do is you have to call, for example, if I want to get object lighting, I need to go object light, oh, no. lighting engine dot x and I can call x of lighting engine. But with this, if I wanted to call the lamps x, I just go x because it calls it within the with object. So what we'll do here is we're just going to do a draw sprite and just very simple draw sprite sprite and I'll prove it to you guys that it works and I'll it hindsight hindsight it wants to prove me wrong now I'll set sub image to zero because there's no animation X and Y now let's see what this does and see if it proves me wrong or right as you can see we've got a lighting engine now normally the next problem is if I add in more we normally have to program for more but because the way the width function works it draws it on each point the only error I have found and I haven't been over to overcome with this is if you see here this isn't a correct blend of alpha but for a beginner not bad so if I keep putting in lights and you'll see once it decides to load again yep we've got lighting easy now the other problem is is you need a color to your light that's the other big step not so hard from memory so I'm just gonna prove to you guys this works so if I come over here now I'm just gonna create a function and I'm just gonna call this VAR sprite 00, zero is equal to lamp sprite so I'm now going to take that variable and I'm going to plug it in here. Now, by logic, it should break, but because we're accessing it internally inside the other object, it will work. Ta da! Okay, now let's make some color. So, the next step, and the color side is a lot easier, and all I'm going to do is create another. Oh, not delete. Another system. So, I'm just going to copy that name I'm just gonna lighting engine or we'll call it lighting or color color lighting engine so the idea of this one is even simpler we just go draw because game maker can already handle draw instances pretty well and we are going to come back here we're gonna take this with function and we can put this straight in here and all we do is we extend it to the extended function we set scale to one scale or rotation zero you can actually do rotations and that if you wanted to color or, or make color make RGB um, normally your best bet is kind of a pale so we'll go 200, 200, 200 ish. And that will set the color because we're using a gradient. Oh, and we just set the alpha low. So what will that will do now is when I run this with the lighting color engine in there, will get both lighting and color quickly and easily. I should most likely dump up the actual effect so you guys can see it more clearly. Uh, actually, you know what? Should have just done color yellow. Done. And I'm just going to set that to three. And this part does take a bit of fidgeting, but again, you can control this all from your lighting source. As you can see, we've got now yellow lights. So if I wanted to, I'll convert that back to making RGB. I'm just going to set that back to three. And I'm just going to go I random because we're dealing in um, exact values, 255, because that's your max color range. 
And I'm just going to dump that there, dump that there. And we'll see what happens. So this will randomize, although it might be a bit colorful, which it is. Whoops. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is this. So in, not lighting. Oh no, we are in lighting engine. But in here, again, I can go VAR color is equal to that and missing a bracket and missing a whole random function okay so from there that will set it when the object creates and in here when I paste that we shouldn't get the rainbow effect so as you can see nice easy quick lighting looks good and it's not hard to achieve. Um, I suppose the only other big thing is you'd most likely want to set your lighting, your color I should say, as well to a depth that's not going to get used. So depth, because you don't want it to be lower than. So I would normally go 99, because I said it's 10,000, 9,999. And that should dump it just above everything you get the proper lighting effect on that too. Easy enough. If you enjoyed the tutorial, like, favorite, subscribe, all that rubbish. If you have a comment or would like to see a tutorial other than light ray tracing, because I hate that and it's a pain, it's a lot of complex mass, I'm more than happy to look into it. Um, so have a great day and hope this helped.